At Sailaway, it's a very exciting time and the feeling of a huge accomplishment and everything is literally ready to go to country and be installed. What we're here to do is install a jacket in the deck and then completing the campaigns with installation of the pipeline, tying the two facilities together. And we're gonna do that using a single vessel solution, which is the DOV 2000. The DLV 2000 for us was probably one of the biggest value levers from the Angeline project. This vessel will install the jacket and top sides and it will install the pipeline as well. So a tremendous amount of value is being driven by that because by having one vessel, it delivers to us predictability at the end of the day. During mobilization, there's many activities ongoing. It's not only the vessel getting ready, it's bringing people and teams together to deliver a full insulation solution. In the end, about 280 people sailed away on the DOV 2000. Many nationalities that come on that all trying to work the same culture. That's been instilled. So when people do arrive, we all know we're working to one purpose. Our next step is going to be to take along our barge with our jacket and our top side. We'll go ahead and begin the lift and set of the jacket. You've got a very large piece of equipment on a material barge and you have a very large construction vessel that are trying to essentially join up and become one entity. That takes a lot of focus from the crew. These guys know what they're doing. This is what they do every day. There is a reason that they're on this vessel and it's because they are the best at what they do. As a single vessel solution, the DLV 2000 has a heavy lift crane. So that 2000 ton crane does all the work to install the facility. This jacket lift and up ending was really smooth. It went exactly as planned. Once we finish the jacket, we bring the material barge back in. We lift the top side, then we'll slowly DP the vessel into location and set it down safely. Once the top side's finished, we'll start loading pipe. We'll connect to the pre-installed initiation wire and we'll start laying away from Surrette platform down here to the new Angeline platform. The firing line is the heart of how we lay pipe. From the front to the back, it involves welding, NDE, coating, and then we push the pipe out of the back of the vessel. It's about efficiencies. It's about how can you start up, lay efficiently, no weld repairs, do everything perfectly, and finish the job. I think McDermott's commitment to developing the local content in Trinidad has been second to none. They're highly experienced, they're well-trained, and they're really meshing very well with McDermott leadership. We wanted to show that McDermott was going to be a partner in country, and we made commitments to do that. We not only use the talent in Trinidad, but we bring them to Altamira, we bring them to Houston, we bring them to other regions because it is good talent. We can use them anywhere across the project. The outcome for BP at the end of the day is that we have a safe and efficient execution of the Angeline project and we meet our targets and our goals. Overall for BP, Angeline will deliver about 20% of our commitment to BPTT and that's going to be an absolutely excellent outcome not just for BP but also for the Trinidadian people.